let us test our understanding of accommodation bills with a small prop. Bimal drew a bill of 10,000 for two months on Arun for mutual accommodation. It was decided that the proceeds would be shared equally amongst them. 10,000 two months. The bill was discounted at the rate of 12% per annum. What amount will be received by Arun after discounting? How much money should be remitted by Bimal before the due date so that Arun can meet the bill at maturity? So they have decided to share the proceeds equally. What is the amount which first Arun will receive after discounting? Let's compute. The options given are A 9800, B 5000, C 4400 and D 4900. The amount received would be 10,000 into 12% for 2 months. This would be equal to 1% every month, 100 every month or rupees 200 is the discount which means Bimal gets 9800 from the bank. If this is to be shared equally he would get <clears throat> 4900 each. Therefore once the bill is discounted and Bimal gets 9800 Bimal should send half the proceeds since they share it equally or 4,900 to Arun. So the first option, what amount will be received by Arun after discounting since they are sharing the proceeds equally, 4,900 will be received. Therefore, the first 10,000 is accounted as Bimal Arun. Bimal gets 4,900, Arun gets 4,900. They both should share the discount of 100. Therefore, actually, the amount of 5,000, 5,000, 10,000 is accounted for like this. Next, how much money should be remitted by Bimal before the due date so that Arun can meet the bill at maturity? Now, Arun already has 5,000 worth of funds with him. The remaining 5,000 is with Bimal. If Bimal sends the 5,000 to Arun, Arun can meet the bill for 10,000. Therefore, the amount of money that should be sent by Bimal is rupees 5,000. Please note it should be rupees 5,000, not 4,900 which Bimal has enjoyed. This is because the amount is 5,000, 100 is a discount expense which has to be paid by Bimal. Arun has also got only 4,900. He has to now pay up 10,000 rupees. If we make this computation, right now they stand at 5,000 and 5,000, both enjoying 5,000 till the bill is matured. Once the date of maturity arrives, 10,000 will be, have to be paid by Arun. It becomes minus 10,000 for him. Bimal has to send him the 5,000. When Bimal sends him 5,000, Bimal has no more funds left with him. He receives 5,000 and Arun's balance is also nil. This is how bill of accommodation works. Please note that the amount to be sent by Bimal is 5,000 inclusive the total because the benefit he gets is of 5,000. It is a different matter that the 100 was a discount charge. 5,000 has to be sent by Bimal to Arun so that Arun can meet the bill of rupees 10,000. Correct answer is in A. D 4900 and B 5000. Mahi draws an accommodation bill on Nuri. The proceeds are to be borne between Nuri and Mahi in the ratio 3 is to 1. 
the amount of the bill rupees 6000 discounting charges 120 discount borne by nuri will be a90 b120 c100 and d now Proceeds are in the ratio 3 is to 1. Amount of the bill 6000. Discounting charges 123 is to 1. Nuri 3, Mahi 1. So the amount of discount to be borne by Nuri would be total discount is 120 into 3 by 4. Total is 4. So in this ratio, would be 90. The correct answer should be A, 90. <clears throat> a draws a bill on B for rupees 9000 for mutual accommodation in the ratio of 2 is to 1. A got it discounted at rupees 8460 and remitted one third of the proceeds to B. At the time of maturity, how much amount should A remit to B such that B can pay off the bill? A. 6000 B. 5760 C. 5840 D. 6020 Bill amount is 9000 Share, Sharing ratio is one third That means 2 and 1. One third of the proceeds were given to B. So A gets 2 parts and B gets 1 part. So at the time of maturity, A has to remit 2 third of the amount of the bill to B so that B can pay off the bill. It's just 2 third of 9000 or 6000 has to be paid. 6000 has to be sent by A to B so that B can meet the bill. The discount does not come into the picture. They both share the discount as well as the proceeds. So the benefit of the 9000 is 6000 to A and 3000 to B. A and B. Now B has to meet the bill and 9000 will go from him. So that B does not suffer any loss, he needs to get a 6,000 from A. When A sends 6,000, both have at nil position with no funds in hand. Proper sharing has taken place. Therefore, the correct answer would be A. <clears throat> X draws a bill on Y for 4,500 for mutual accommodation in the ratio 2 is to 1. The bill was discounted for 4230 and X sent one third of the proceeds to Y. On the due date, Y drew a bill on X for 6300 and discounted it with the bank for 6120. The first bill was honored and Y remitted 1080 to X. What is the total discount that X bears on the two bills? The total discount. In the first case, the discount is 4,500 minus 4,230 equal to 270. In the next case, 6,300 minus 6,120 and 180 is the amount of discount. Therefore, the total discount is 450. X bears two third of the discount. Two third of the discount is borne by X and that would be equal to 300. The share of discount that X bears totally on the two bills is 300. It may be noted that this computation has been based on the understanding that the proceeds are being shared in the ratio two-third and one-third. We can always check if the proceeds were actually shared in this ratio. 
In the first instance, when 4,500 was the amount of the bill, the bill was discounted for 4,230 and one third of the proceeds were sent to buy. This would mean that including the discount, X enjoyed 3,000 and Y enjoyed 1,500. This is the proceeds plus the discount. On the due date, X has not sent any money to Y. So Y ended up honoring the bill for 4,500. Therefore, now X has enjoyed 3,000 at Y's cost. Y has minus 3,000 and X has 3,000. This is the position. But then Y has drawn a bill and got this bill discounted with the bank for 6120. So now Y gets 6120 but then remits 1080. So 1080 comes to X and X is enjoying 4080. Mind you, X still has the 3000 which he first received. Total money enjoyed by X is 4080. Whereas, if we make this calculation, minus 3000, minus 1080, plus 6120, we get 2040. So, again, the ratio is 2 is to 1. That is why the discount is also being shared in this ratio. We can straight away compute. We can assume this computation is made on the assumption that the sharing of the proceeds continues to be in the ratio 2 is to 1, 2 third and 1 third. In which case, we need not do this check. 